Well, I just thought I'd do another video. This is just some random uh, goofing off with the uh, the chocolatey framework. I'm going to install a couple of things just to... Uh, I'm actually going to install... Well, I'm going to install one thing, and this is kind of more just for me to play around with. I'm kind of... Uh, I'm kind of a fanatic with the .NET framework, so I decided, heck with it, I'll just install um, script C Sharp so I can have, I mean, um, I can have REPL right at the, in Visual Studio, but sometimes I'm a lazy button. I don't feel like opening Visual Studio 2012 all the time because it's really lazy. It's a pain in the butt, and I'm just a lazy person, so I said, you know what, I'm just going to do this. And besides, I haven't really been picking at C Sharp a lot lately anyway, so I'll have it just kind of to play around with. Um, so I'm going to launch PowerShell like I normally do, and then run the uh, chocolatey command. Whoops. Script CS, if I can spell that correctly. There we go. Okay. So chocolatey's running at the moment. Oh point eight point nine point two three. Um, and of course it's just taking... Ah, dependencies on Roslyn. That's cool. Nice. Worked. We didn't have any issues. Um, so, I'm going to exit this and see if this works. Oops, there we go. Okay. So it came out of there. Let's go back on and then type it in here. Whoops. Script CS. Uh. Oh, okay. Oh, alright, so I just hit enter and it kind of, um, it exited, it, so, uh, let me, let me see what happens here. You know what? I'll do something that I actually do know how to do, and this is actually how weak I am at the C-sharp language. I'll do this, if, <laughs> if I even remember how to do this correctly, but let's, let's just see. Um, okay, so I'm going to say... Whoops. Whoops. Dot. Oh, yay. It actually worked. <laughs> so what I did was I used the, um, the, con the, um, uh, console class with the uh, right line method of that class, and I just did, um, and I just um, wrote hello world, and the com and the as you can see, the command prompt actually echoed that back to me. That's what REPL is. So it's cool as I have that right at the command line, so I don't always have to go in Visual Studio. Now I do have the uh, Roslyn 2012 CT, uh, CTP extension installed in Visual Studio 2012. Well, if Visual Studio 2012 even still works on this computer, because quite a few things after the Windows 8.0 to Windows 8.1 upgrade, quite a few things actually stopped <laughs> stopped working after that, including a lot of my screen reader shortcuts, but I don't know, so I haven't looked at Visual Studio 2012. So... That's a little bit, uh, huh. Let's see if I can do something else here. If I remember this. Um, so, whoops. Ah, shoot. So I'm going to say I, whoops, equals, whoops, <laughs> and I'm not typing. Um, 
54. Oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, apparently I forgot to... Oh, that's because I forgot to um, do this. Let me see. Hold on. So let me enter back into it. Whoops. Oh gosh, this is so cool. I'm like messing with this. <laughs> for no for no cool reason then it's cool. Uh let's see if I can actually do this. So I whoops, and I just <laughs> Oh my gosh, I keep wanting to put a plus sign when I actually want equals. Fifty four. Wow, okay. I apparently Oh my god, wow. I apparently forget how to declare... Oh, maybe that's because... Equals... Huh. Wow. Apparently I forget how to do this. Okay then, that's very... That's interesting. <laughs> okay then. I'll get out of there. Um, I'll have to show you guys that later because <coughs> apparently I forget how to declare variables. Wow. Okay then. So let's get out of there. Anyway, um, I just wanted to kind of have a little fun with that, and huh, I might do a few more demos of it later. That's real. That's that's kind of fun. Yep. And that is Microsoft Rosslyn, guys. And for those of you who have no idea what Microsoft Rosslyn is or what I'm talking about, it's the code name for a uh, future... Uh, it's a project that essentially gives developers um, compiler access to a lot of the... Uh, um, to the compiler. So now, like developers have access to those services at runtime, which is pretty awesome. And in the meantime, it also allows for um, C-sharp scripting. So um, the normal file extension is .cs, well, the C-sharp script extension is CSX. So it's really cool for like really simple things. Um, so for those of you guys who know both PowerShell and C Sharp um, fluently, un un unlike unlike I do, as you've probably seen uh, you know, seen in that, so um, <laughs> it's quite quite interesting, but yeah, so it's um, they're two very powerful languages, both um, both belonging to the .NET framework. So, so for those of you .NET developers who know both of those languages um, with Rosslyn at your disposal, it's quite uh, it's quite interesting. So, I will be uh, I'll be right back. I want to um, review some stuff so I can uh, um, if I can actually remember how to do this it would be cool and uh, so I'll try to do a couple more script CS demos for you in a second um, but I will be right there